Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how to rise above your excuses. Excuses are basically you holding yourself back and that's no good. So let me share with you a few tips in this video that will hopefully help you become better than your excuses so that you don't let them stop you from living your best life possible. And your whole goal should basically be to practice self-love, to get to a place where you love yourself and accept yourself enough that you want what's best for you. So many people, they're willing to accept a life of mediocrity or things that they don't enjoy because they don't really care about themselves to that level. But when you truly love and accept yourself as you are and you genuinely want to live your best possible life, then of course now your excuses aren't going to have as much weight over you. They're not going to be capable of influencing your actions quite in the way that they used to. Because if you get to that place, you're going to know in the back of your mind that an excuse is holding you back from living your best life. And that's not going to be acceptable to you. So this is the whole goal. Get to a place where you can truly love and accept yourself as you are. So that way you can hold yourself to a somewhat higher standard of living and you'll actually pursue it. So that's an important thing. So practicing self-love is basically all about just treating yourself better about kind of think about the way that you treat people you truly care about people that you love think about the way you treat them and ask yourself how you can treat yourself in that same way how can you with your thoughts be supportive of yourself how can you cheer for yourself how can you motivate yourself how can you be there for yourself and then think about all the different ways that you can basically change your habits to support this newfound way of loving yourself. What kind of self-care habits can you incorporate into your life? Should you start working out more? Should you eat healthier? Those sorts of things. Those are very subtle ways of basically proving that you care about yourself because you're taking better care of yourself, right? So think about all that. It's basically really just getting to a place where yeah you view yourself the way or you take care of yourself you treat yourself the way that you do people you genuinely care about people that you even love that's all there is to it that's all self-love really is and yes a lot of this will mean with your thoughts so just as much as possible try to be thinking more positive thoughts about yourself try to be thinking in ways where you support yourself and Try to reject those negative thoughts about yourself and realize that a lot of that negative self-talk doesn't even come from you. It comes from society. Like you were conditioned growing up to think in that way. You were conditioned to doubt yourself, to think that you're not good enough. Nobody really comes into this world believing that crap because you don't see any babies immediately give up when they fall while attempting to walk for the first time, right? Like babies have incredible persistence. They just keep going until they get what they want. That's the way we're all born. And then somewhere down the road, probably in elementary school and around there, maybe even a bit earlier, a bit later, we learn to start doubting ourselves. We start internalizing crap that other people tell us. And that leads to us not loving and accepting ourselves as we are because we basically believe the BS that other people tell us. We're too young at that age to know any better. So we allow all these freaking negative Nancys and people who are hurt inside, who are insecure and have low self-esteem to spew their BS on us and we believe them. They say, oh, you're not good enough to do that. And we think, oh, they're saying it. They must be right. They must know what they're talking about. No, they're an insecure fool who spewed that crap to us and we just gobbled it up when we we're too young to know any better. But now that you're an adult, you can reject all that crap. Don't listen to your negative self-talk anymore. It's not you. It's all this BS conditioning from society. So just reject it and instead replace it with a voice that will actually come from you where you support yourself and you're kind to yourself and you love yourself. I know this, you know, the video started as how to rise above your excuses but trust me this will actually work because it's kind of like a counterintuitive way in some regards i mean when you really think about it, it it makes sense how this would work but yeah at first glance you're probably thinking what the hell josh like how is this meant to help me with excuses but it will 
Because when you can truly get to that place where you actually want to support yourself and motivate yourself and you truly care about yourself, it means that just like with the people you're close to and you truly care about how you want them to live their best life possible, that concept will now apply to you. You'll think that for yourself because you'll treat yourself the way you treat those people that you feel that way for. That's the whole gist of what I'm driving at. So seriously, practice self-love. Get to that place where you can truly love and accept yourself as you are, and it'll help you conquer your excuses. Because now you're going to be thinking, if I give in to this stupid excuse, this BS negative voice, I'm literally holding myself back from living the best possible life I could, and I only get one shot at this life. So I should make the most of it and not listen to this excuse. Because you probably wouldn't even have that excuse if not for your childhood conditioning. Remember, babies are a bit fearless, right? I mean, try, try to stop a baby from learning how to walk. Like, good luck. They'll just keep trying until they finally get it down. So we learn to doubt ourselves. We learn to create excuses. We learn to basically hold ourselves back and shoot ourselves in the foot before we even begin running. So self-love is a solution. That's how you'll rise above your excuses. But Anyway, I truly hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please subscribe for more like it. Otherwise, like the video, that's the easiest way you can help me out and <laughs> boost the algorithm. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if this is helpful advice. Um, if you do, hopefully you'll actually put this into practice in your life, but I understand it's easy to watch a video and then just kind of continue on with your life and not make any changes. But if you do, put this into action in your life, please come back in the future and let me know in the comments how this helped. Let me know if it actually worked. Let me know if your excuses don't hold you back to the same degree that they used to. So I'm curious. I, I want to hear about how this is actually beneficial. But anyway, guys, remember, we're all on this journey together. So the most important thing is that you just keep going, keep moving forward, keep practicing that self-love because, I mean, it helps your life in so many ways. It's not just rising above excuses, but that is a great benefit of it. So yeah, just keep working on that. Get to a place where you're basically unconquerable. Life won't be able to hold you down. Nothing really will because you'll be motivating yourself. So what the hell can stop you when you've got that kind of internal self-motivation? But anyway, guys, truly hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Arrivederci!